Hi guys, sorry I got interrupted again uh, and I've decided to change my outfit because I got a bit hot earlier and uh, so I'm now in black. Um, yeah, so uh, where was I? I was... Uh, next question. So uh, I was on... What was the qu last question? Would you like to be a big celebrity? Oh yeah, I answered that one. Uh, what type of music do you like? Um, I have a very eclectic style of music. Uh, to, uh, liking to music, I mean. Um, I like opera, I like pop music, I like certain types of jazz music, um, I like some types of heavy metal. I don't like the type of heavy metal where they're virtually just screaming down a microphone because, like, that to me isn't music. That's just, in my opinion, that's just noise. <laughs> so I like the type of... Uh, Opera, opera metal, like, uh, I like um, the sort of early types of heavy metal, as it were, like uh, Eddie, uh, not Ed, <sighs> Eddie Izzard, <laughs> no, I mean Ozzy Osbourne, sorry, um, and um, what's the other one, uh, I don't know whether it's considered metal or anything, it's like heavy rock or something, what is it, um, Meatloaf, um, I used to love Elvis. I was a huge Elvis fan at one point in my life, so I absolutely loved Elvis. Uh, my favourite musician is uh, Roy Orbison. I think he's absolutely... his voice is absolutely... <gasps> love him. Um, favourite opera singer is um, Roberto Alagna. I think he's got the best tenor voice, frankly. I think he beats Domingo and Pavarotti. What? Mm, Pavarotti. Mm. <sighs> Pavarotti has a very good um, uh, ability to sound like, make his voice sound like he's completely effortless in singing. Um, but I think, I think in terms of uh, um, emotion, Roberto Lanya is way better than any of those. I think he's got more emotion in his voice when he sings. So I feel more invested in his performances when he sings. Um, and I just think he's got a very good body, he's got very good body to his voice, and he's also very good at, um, well, just singing, generally. <laughs> um, but anyway, so yeah, that's, um, that's, uh, my choice of music. I absolutely love opera, uh, I love, like I said, I like pop, I like rock, I like some heavy metal, I love some jazz, I love pretty much almost every type of music. Um, so, uh, that's that question. Um, let's see. What other questions do we have here? Let's see. Favourite TV show? Um, I'm not a huge fan of TV shows, to be perfectly honest. Although, no, 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 I, I do like, uh, Star Trek. I am a Star Trek fan. Um, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I, I am an absolute Star Trek fan. I have uh, a Star Trek mug somewhere, and I have a Star Trek t-shirt, and of course, I am a Spock fan. <laughs> I love Spock. Um, no, I absolutely love uh, Voyager is my favourite series of the Star Trek uh, lot. Um, I do like uh, the series Once Upon a Time. I do love that series, because like I said, I am an absolute lover of fantasy, and I love fairy tales, and I love myths. So, uh, an entire series based off the uh, the fairy tales, which combined both the original concepts of the fairy tales with the Disney one. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. I loved that show, um, and I thought the costumes were fantastic. They still looked a little bit costumey, not quite clothing-wise, but... Uh, Generally, I preferred that series. I thought it was just more fun than most series. I'm not really one for, um, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, when when it's based off reality in life, like soap operas. I don't really care for sort of soap opera stuff when it's like Hollyoaks or, you know, um, things like that. Oh, I do love the, the Lucifer series. That was fun. Uh, although I think the later episodes got a little bit I didn't really care for the ending of it. I thought that was a bit lame. Yeah. Um, favorite character from Finding Nemo? Um, well, 
Nemo. <laughs> I can't really beat Nemo. Um, Nemo and Dory. Dory's a great character. I love her because she just uh, embodies uh, what it's like to be an adult, but with a childlike wonder. And I think that's something that is, uh, that's lost in a lot of people. Ten people tend to sort of get that drilled out of them, which is, I think is a, is, a, is a shame, because I think adults need to remember that they have, uh, you have the power of imagination, always inside here. It's just a matter of um, tapping into it. And I think that's something that we tend to get, it tends to get drilled out of us as a child. You know, when we go to school, this is one of the things I don't like. I don't actually agree with the school system because I had a terrible time in the school system. And I think it is a major source of why children are so depressed these days. I think children suffer from a lot of depression issues. And I think um, it's to do with the fact that we are shoving them into a system that is trying to make them mold them in a one-size-fits-all type of way when anyone who has any half a brain understands that no two humans are alike they don't think alike they don't learn alike they have different interests different likes different tastes different skill levels and i think to shove them into a system that teaches them in a one-size-fits-all system uh, is wrong I mean, I'm not surprised that so many children are d depressed these days. We put too much pressure on them to be something they're not. You know, I, I like I said before, I suffer from depression. I can't remember if I said that or not, but I do suffer from depression. And it's part of, most of, mostly the reason for that was because of my experiences in school. I had a terrible time in school and I felt like I was trying to be forced into a mould that I was not cut out for. And as a result, it damaged me. So, yeah. Mm, opening my soul there a bit. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I, I got a bit sidetracked there. But, uh, yeah, Nemo. <laughs> uh, Nemo and Dory. I, I like Dory because she has a, the childlike wonder. But I think it's a shame that she's sort of depicted as a bit of a, a half-wit. Um, I think there are people in this world who need to remember that there is a there is that being that having childlike wonder is not a it's not something that is a is a negative thing it's it's actually very positive to have childlike wonder in your life and i think you need to retain it i mean look at what happened look at what disney created as a result of his childlike wonder if you retain it you can create almost anything you just need to keep believing like the same way children believe um, anyway, uh, first person you talked to today, my boyfriend, <laughs> uh, last person you talked to today, uh, my boyfriend, <laughs> um, last movie you watched, um, last movie I watched was, I think it was Fat Man with uh, Mel Gibson, and I'll tell you what, that was a great film, really good laugh. Um, a bit dark, but a great take on uh, the concept of Santa. I loved it. I thought it was so funny. Uh, it was great, 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 great fun. I had a great ending to it, and I think you, if you, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you watch it. If you like sort of dark comedies, um, I do, I do recommend it. It's very fun, great fun. Um, <clears throat> favourite actress, um, my favourite actress, oh, I can never remember her name, um, I know that's a bit stupid for someone who, who, who has a favourite actress, but I don't remember her name, but she's, um, I don't know if any of you know the, uh, the TV series, um, Call the Midwife, but the, the old senior, um, nun, the woman who who acts the old senior nun in that she's also she's also acted in the girl with the pearl earring she plays the the mother of the of the the painter's wife of Mir's wife um she plays the mother in that and she's absolutely amazing she is by far my favorite actress um she's just her range is just oof 
I don't think she's given enough credit in in, in movies to be perfectly honest. She's 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 a fabulous actress, and oh god, I I love her to bits, and I think she's when she dies, I think I will be very sad because I think we'll have lost an amazing actress. She doesn't get enough. Uh, uh, she doesn't have as much of a spotlight on her as many other actresses actresses do. I think uh, you know. I think she she deserves the same sort of. Um, spotlight, as it were, as um, Judy Dench and Maggie Smith, but uh, I don't think she's she's been given as much, um, much much of a window <laughs> as they have. I don't know what what you would say, what you would describe it as, like a spotlight, or she's not as well known as they are. <laughs> Let me put it that way. I mean, I don't even I don't remember her name off the top of my head, but. I do know who she is, and I think she's an absolutely fantastic actress. So yeah, that's that. Um, favorite actor. Um, my favorite actor as just an actor. Mm, well, uh, I have to confess, I was a major Alan Rickman fan. Major Alan Rickman fan. I used to carry his picture around with me everywhere. <laughs> I was so obsessed with him when I was younger. I've um, <laughs> calmed down a bit as I've grown older, but uh, yes, <laughs> I used to be. Um, do you tan a lot? Um, do I actively tan a lot, as in do I go out and lie in the sun? Uh, no, because I live in England and we don't get much sun here, <laughs> so there's no point. But when the sun does come out, yes, I'm outside. Uh, do I tan easily? That is another question. Yes, I do, <laughs> because I am dark skinned anyway, and people with dark skin do tend to tan very easily. Um, do I have any pets? Yes, I've already answered that question, so I'm going to move on to the next one. How are you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Thank you for asking. Uh, do you type fast? Um, I haven't checked lately, but no, I don't. Do you regret anything from your past? Numerous things. I regret a lot of things in my past. I regret giving up as many times as I used to. I regret all the quitting that I did. Uh, there are numerous things that I quit that I wish I hadn't. Um, can you spell well? No, I have terrible spelling. <laughs> Um, it's just something I'm not very gifted at. Uh, do you miss anyone from your past? All the time. All the friends that I've ever made and lost, I miss. Because I feel, oh, I just miss them. I feel sad that I've, uh, that I, that I've had a friendship and it's been let go because of, frankly, because either they got lazy or I got lazy and neither neither of us decided to keep in contact so I just I feel very sad that most of my friends have um, disappeared off the face of the earth um, in a manner of speaking um, uh, ever been to a bonfire party um, maybe once or twice in my youth don't really recall very much about them. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'm going to conclude that there. And uh, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in, uh, in uh, whatever video that comes next. So, bye guys. <laughs>